Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make server requests using Python and using a library called requests. So I've included this gist in my description. You can also check out the actual request documentation here. As you can see, it's quite popular. So first we're going to create a Python file to actually make these calls. Um, just get my demos here. I'm using Atom. I'm going to call it test.py. I'm just showing you how it works. I'm going to grab this code, copy and paste it over. I don't think these URLs work anymore. But so essentially what you have to do is run the following thing. If you're using Python 2.7, which I'm going to use, you run pip install request. If you don't have pip, take a um, Google, go on the internet and Google for it. So I'm going to make this a little bigger. So I'm going to switch over my desktop. I have a list of examples here, and I'm going to type in pip install request. I believe my computer already has it. Or installs, you might have to run sudo pip install request, so which gives root permissions, but please understand what root permissions mean before doing this. And so now that I have it, I can make these calls. So I have two demos here. I have example get and example post. So you can also look up what, what post mean, what get mean. Essentially, I'm going to run copy. I'm going to run the get first. And I think these, it's supposed to be old posts. I've updated the URL since then. I've deleted this old post from my blog, but I think it's old post. So now I'm here, I'm going to type in python test.py. And there's a typo in my command, python.test.py. Other, which means uh, response is so the response, the status code came in as 200, so I was able to get the URL. Um, success equals true, which it didn't mean because if I actually go to this URL, it may when you're watching this video it may not still be there, but if you actually go to this URL, it comes in as false, so it'll come in as other. It'll print other. So essentially it makes the request. 200 means Yes, it's found the page, it's loaded properly. So you may get a 404, which means you know page not found. You may get a, you know, a 415, which means media file is invalid. A whole bunch of them, there's a whole bunch of different commands. But you can get a uh, 200, which means yes, it went through. You take the resulting string here, which is this, and you make it into a JSON object, which, or a dictionary object for Python, which is response. And I can say response at success equals true. And in this case, it doesn't because it's false because um, parameter one can't be blank. So the way we're going to solve that is um, using our post. Our post here, as you can see, we can pass in different fields. The way you pass in fields for get would be adding on the question mark and then content like that. So it would pass in an ID called test. But um, this is parameter one. It's going to be bar and parameter two. So we're going to copy and paste this down here instead this time and use a post. So we're passing the post fields in, request dot post dot and then the URL and the post field so it's really simple how you can do it um, how you can make server calls and we're gonna try that one now so python.test again it makes a server call and returns success which is the message because we passed in um, that we've passed in parameter one parameter two and it tells me uh, it tells us that we it's been successful so we can actually do the following as it see how it's passing it back the parameters, we could add print response parameter one, and it will tell us it will print two lines this time. Bar, which is essentially just passing through the parameter back through into the response. So that's how you make server requests using Python. It's using this package um, here, this library called requests. Really simple, really easy. They have a bunch of demos on the website. I recommend checking out. Please also subscribe. Uh, to my channel and check out some of the other Python videos.